Hey everyone, welcome back to the Center Car Care YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to teach you how to do a clay and seal on this Tesla Model Y. There's a few details that are a little bit controversial when doing a clay and seal. We have a lot of mobile detailers that are offering this service now, so we wanna kinda of give something out there for those people that are looking for how to do this service to begin with. So we're gonna start off first spraying it down with Center Car Care's odor-free iron remover. I spray this on here, and we're gonna let that set up. Now anytime you're doing an iron remover process, if you want to get it down to a bare clean surface, you're going to want to have to add clay to the, to the process as well. So this is going to be the chemical portion of it, and this is going to be the mechanical cleaning portion of it. Anytime you're clay barring, it's absolutely necessary to use something to lubricate the surface. And a lot of people wonder, well, how lubricious is this? Is that a word? <laughs> a lot of people wonder how the lubricious is the iron remover. So we're kind of going to spray this on here and kind of show you how much lubricity there is. This is without any kind of clay lube on there. You can hear how tacky that is. This is super slick, got a lot of suds to it. So what's nice about that and what causes that slipperiness is the surfactants that we put in there. And not only do the surfactants add lubricity, but they also help clean the vehicle. So anytime you're using the clay on here, spray one on the car, spray on the clay, and we're just gonna apply that. Now this is a white car. <laughs> Now this is a white car, so <laughs> um, it's a little bit harder to see any kind of the micro marring that you're going to do with clay, but anytime you're touching something to the surface, you have a chance of scratching the car, or it's not really going to be scratching, but more of like a micro mar. So kind of hard to see unless you have it in the right light. But if you're doing this on like a black car or a dark blue or some kind of darker color, it's a lot easier to see any kind of the micro marring that you're going to be doing on the paint. So keep that in mind, any movements that you're doing could show up afterwards, but we have a work cut out for us on this white paint, it's gonna be pretty easy um, and it hides quite a bit. Any time of white paint, silver paint, things like that, you're gonna have a little bit easier time because you're not gonna be showing it up as much of the marring. So for anybody that's wondering why would you even wanna do a clay and seal, what's nice about it, if you ever go run the back of your hand over the car, you can feel those little contamination spots that are just making it a little bit more rough. And honestly, that kind of distorts light and doesn't make the car look as shiny and doesn't feel as smooth. So the nice part about clay and seal, you're decontaminating the paint. So you're gonna get all that stuff off there and then you seal the paint back in so that way it's protected for the future. So what we're looking to do with this decontamination step, you can see right through here where I've already done the iron remover clay bar treatment. It, it removed all these orange and black spots that were on this paint. So I'm not sure if you can see that with the camera, Brett but this whole car is covered in these little iron remover parts that have now rusted. And there's also little dirt decontaminants that are stuck in that paint. So pretty obvious right around here. And then you can see over here where it's all fresh and clean, super smooth. So I'm gonna show you just how well the iron remover clay bar combo breaks down all these contaminants. Just spray a little bit on there. Spray a little bit on the iron, on the uh, clay bar. See, just like that. The combination of the chemical and the mechanical cleaning makes quick work of that kind of stuff. So as we go over this whole car, it'll speed up the process quite a bit doing it all in one. Right, and once you got this clean, you can actually hear the difference just by rubbing your hand across it. So I'm gonna put my mic up close to it so you can kind of get a feel for that. That compared to. What's interesting about all this contamination on this car, this is fresh off the lot two days ago. So for, right, right from the car dealership, already has all this contamination all over it. You gotta remember, a car might be new to you, but a lot of times these are sitting on a lot or an assembly line or sitting out in a parking lot. It could already have contamination on it by the day you got it. All right, so we clay barred, iron remover, the whole car here. We got it down to a bare decontaminated surface. 
then we rinse it off with water. Now typically at this step, we would suggest you polish the vehicle because any kind of that light marring you just did, you would like to fix those imperfections before sealing in the vehicle. But I understand a lot of times that's not the case. Some of the people out in the real world are just clay barring the vehicle, iron remover, and then they go and seal the car in. If you're on a white car like this, you can kind of get away with it because you don't see that marring as much. But if you're on like a black car, you're gonna have a tough time because you're gonna see some of those light marring scratches. So viewer advised on this one, <laughs> viewer discretion advised on this one. Uh, if, you're, if you're gonna the iron remover and clay bar, we would suggest that you polish the vehicle because that's the best way to get no imperfections on the paint. If you're not doing that and you're jumping right into a sealing step, there's a couple different options for you. You notice the vehicle's still wet because two of the sealants that we have here, you can use them as a drying aid. So it's pretty convenient because you just spray on, wipe off, you're saving yourself a step there. Now, if you want like three months of protection, you can use something like Speed Bead that has Carnuba wax. But if you're trying to seal it for something like six months protection, we have the hybrid ceramic detailer. Both are gonna be pretty similar in how you use them. You just spray them on, wipe them off, and you can use it as a drying aid. So a quick recap of what we did to do this process. Wash the whole car down, spray the iron remover on as a clay lubricant, use that clay to break it down. You wanna rinse it off. And then right from rinsing cycle, you can do uh, either a speed bead or hybrid ceramic detailer, spray it on there, wipe it off. And that's a full clay and seal from start to finish. Now professional results, you definitely wanna try and sneak in that step of polishing the paint, making those corrections so you can fix that micro marring. But like I said, on a white car, silver car, something like that, you can usually get away with doing this like one or two times without doing it. So as you can see, we probably just show like a before and after of like all the little contaminants versus how clean it is now and how smooth it is. So now this, just that, I mean, short process of 30 minutes we just did there. We got a smooth paint that's protected for six months and very minimal marring or scratching because we have such high lubricity in that iron moving step. So if you have any questions on that, or if you have any different ways of doing it, let us know in the comments below so we can help the whole community out, whatever works best for you. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you in the next one.